Coverage of the Mountaineers from the Big 12 Baseball Championships is presented by Coca-Cola. 3-2, this one's lifted to left. Right there is Rice, makes the catch. Tagging at third is Ray, and he will score. He slides, didn't need to. And the Cowboys add their second run of the inning. It's now 5-0. And he bunts, third base side. Ray charges, bare hands will not get him. And you're wondering why would Rice do that with two outs? Well, they need base runners. And a 2-1 pitch. This is smoke to left center field. Might score two, will score two. Doesn't go, and McBroom hits it high. Deep, left field, Green looks up. Is it fair or foul? Fair ball, clear out of here as he makes it a one-run game. This ball is hit high in the air by Wilson, deep left field. Green back at the wall, leaps. It is clear out of here. And this ball game is now tied at five. Hit it to right field and have a shot at him at the plate. He does hit it to right field. Fish charges in, point around third. They're waving him home. Play at the plate. He is safe. And West Virginia wins in the 10th. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. So that's how it looked. West Virginia with a come from behind 6-5 to five victory today over Oklahoma State. And Ernie, just a, an emotional win for a team that's had an unbelievable season so far. There's no other way to sum it up. It was just a remarkable day. It's been a remarkable season, and what a way to end it. This come from behind team did it again. It sure didn't look very good early. West Virginia committed five errors in the contest and allowed Oklahoma State to open up a 5 nothing lead. Yeah, it wasn't a good start. It started a lot like the Kansas game where the at-bats weren't very good. They didn't play great defense, but one thing we've learned about this team is they're going to play till the final out. But the uprising came in the sixth inning, down 5 to nothing. West Virginia got it going with a walk, and then with two outs, one of the key plays of the game, it looked small at the time, but Jacob Rice kept that inning alive with a bunt single. You know, it may not get talked about a lot, but in my opinion, it's the biggest play in the game. With two outs, he bunts for a single, and that led to the big five-run inning to tie the game. And then Ryan Tuntland gets a base hit. The Mountaineers are back in it. Ryan McBroom hits a massive home run over the foul ball, completely out of the ballpark. And then Brady Wilson steps up. You talk about a guy having a flair for the dramatic. It's the senior Wilson who hits one out to tie the game. McBroom and Wilson, two veteran players that have been through this before, stepped up big for their team today. And what a job Corey Walter did, a veteran pitcher for West Virginia, coming in out of the bullpen, keeping his team in it. He kept Oklahoma State at bay, and that gave the Mountaineers a chance to win. Not only Corey Walter, but John Means both got big inning-ending double plays to keep the score where it was at and give this team a chance to win. Mountaineers ended up turning three double plays on the day. So that set the stage for extra innings, and it started with a base hit by Bobby Boyd. Billy Fleming gets the bunt down, and then the Tulsa, Oklahoma native Jacob Rice wins the game. He comes up and gets the big base hit, and what ensued after that was <laughs> nothing less than beautiful. I mean, just dogpiling people everywhere. What a win for the Mountaineers. Boyd crosses the plate on a banger at home plate. He slams his helmet and he gets uh, completely enveloped uh, among his teammates there behind home plate. West Virginia wins it 6-5 to five in extra innings and we heard from Coach Mazie and the players afterwards. I'm going to have to be careful when I talk right now because these guys they know me. And they know how I get when I'm so passionate about something. I love these guys. What they've done this year, just the, the grit and the grind it out mentality, they're relentless. They never, ever give up. And that's a perfect example, down 5 nothing. We had made five errors. Thought we had a chance to catch TCU's record there in the middle of the game. But what a turnaround. What a turnaround. Just hustling. Jake lays down a bunt for our second hit of the game with two outs. Get a wild pitch. And Tuttman scores two with the same old broom. Hits a two-run homer. And then Brady hits a two-out homer. We scored all five runs with two outs. Nothing these guys would do would ever surprise me. Yeah, I think I got a you know a pretty good piece of that one. Um, <laughs> I was just looking for you know something something in middle end, I guess, and I put a good swing on it. You know, barreled it up. Finally, it took me you know a while to. 
to get a swing like that. But, you know, I put a good swing on it and got out of here. Yeah, I mean, overall, you know, nobody really expected much of us at all. And, you know, being, de being down 5-0 there, you know, I don't think any one of us in the dugout thought that we were out of this game. And just like that, we're right back in it. So it just shows you how throughout this whole year, you know, we've been down. We've had our backs to the wall. But, um, you know, we've showed adversity and we've always came back. So just another Mountaineer win for us. Uh, you don't really think about it. I, just, I was kind of thinking just put a good piece on the ball and let it get deep and hit the other way. Because there was a huge gap between first and second, so I just try to hit that way. Um, we had a lot of new guys on the team this year. And, I mean, everyone on the team is just so close. We're, we all hang out together. Um, we pretty much do everything together. We're just a family. Uh, it's kind of ironic that I would sit up here and credit winning that game a lot to the defense. But you look at the box score and we made five errors, but like you said, we turned two double plays with the bases loaded. Brady made a great catch with two outs and two strikes in right center. Made a great catch over his head in extra innings. Bobby laid out for a ball in center field uh, late in the game. So, uh, you know, defense uh, really, really helped us win that game. Uh, it helped us get behind 5 nothing too, but but it really got back in it when guys started to uh, start to get focused and started to realize that, that uh, if we don't do something here pretty quick, we're going to be on our way back to Morgantown. It was a dramatic extra innings win. Unfortunately, the Mountaineers didn't get the help they needed as Kansas knocks off TCU in the final game of the day, and that denies West Virginia a chance to play for the championship. Sad ending, but what a remarkable season and a remarkable day for these West Virginia Mountaineers. They were all here. It was tough, but... Uh, it was a great day. It's the first year of a new regime, and Coach Randy Mazie and his staff certainly have a very bright future with this program despite the end of the season here at the Big 12 Championships. Mountaineer coverage from the Big 12 Tournament is presented by Coca-Cola. I'm out here. Right on through.